showed up and it, some guy said they didn't have a name for the flyer to put on the party and they, they said well you know what do you want to be called and some guy said uh you guys are just a bunch of rich kids on lsd man you'll never make it the name, first off it's really funny because all a name for a band is is a way to identify their sound with with some sort of writing you oh. know so we could write piece of shit and then people would they ask us are you really pieces of shit you know what I mean? We could call ourselves anything. If we were called the, the dogs, are you guys really dogs? You look like people. You know what I, I mean? Think that's, that's, that's a little uh, dif uh, difference, you know? I mean... Yeah, well, I mean, rich kids on LSD, we're they not always on acid. acid. Yeah, yeah, someone called us that. Someone said, you guys will never amount to anything. You're just a bunch of rich kids on LSD. Ah, uh, those guys will never amount to anything. They're just a bunch of rich boys on L. Can't believe that 
9 o'clock in the morning now. Is this a normal day in the life of RKL? Yeah, it is. Doing charges of wireless. Why trash game of darts? Hey! Right. When I'm at home, I'm not really like this. I'm always shaving. I'm, all, I'm always fashionable. I always get a good meal. I always wear uh, clean clothes. Calvin Klein underwear. The finest young attire. Go to school. Learn. Education. It's always good. Yeah, we knew it was the German tour when we started getting gas as soon as the van started. Yeah. <laughs> Every time that you uh, let off in the accelerator, then there's gas fumes from the muffler. But we're fixing that today. Yeah. That's a job specialty. We can't find any good glue over in Europe, so we, we settle for gas fumes. In the van. At least it's for free. Yeah. You gotta buy glue. <laughs> <laughs> Drink positive.
Now, what about this comment you said? You know, because you guys just play loud and you take acid. Do you really? I would tell anybody to take it, but the Surgeon General does recommend three square meals a day. It's true. But first, a special hard copy investigation into an old fad that is making a disturbing new comeback. LSD. From schoolyards across the country to big city nightclubs, the drug of the 60s is back with a vengeance. Diane Diamond reports on what we found. You're like in another world, and that's where people want to go from, to escape from reality. I think it's kind of like Drano for the mind, you know. When you look at the lights and they're all weird, like, it's only, only you can see it. LSD, the psychedelic drug that fueled the Woodstock generation, is now back with a vengeance. And now a hard copy expose reveals the shocking truth about today's users. It's all the Grateful Dead, the Grateful Dead hippies. hippies. They're ruining it for us. They're giving LSD a bad name. From the schoolyards of New York to the trendiest clubs here in Hollywood, LSD is being rediscovered and by a whole new generation of young people. Once they try it, if they like it, they keep on doing it. I mean, it's not an addictive thing, so you can get it for free, too. That's like, that's like, that's the only thing that's really bad, is people can just get it like that. You can walk outside probably and get it. <laughs> I was conceived at a love My parents were hippies, and I, they were dosed at the time, probably, so. He's a full ass. I'm, I think I'm dosed all the time. Who can forget the legendary acid exploits of the 60s when LSD became the defining drug for the flower child generation? But in reality, LSD never completely went away. Meet RKL. It stands for Rich Kids on LSD. They're a California band whose aggressive music reflects their philosophy. I think music and acid goes hand in hand, you know, it intensifies everything that you do. The LSD is the true part of our name. Rich kids and the rich, and the rich and the kids don't quite fit. It's a feeling so euphoric, non-stop pleasure slowly creeps from toe to brain. With my multitude of senses, reality has become my only ball and chain. RKL admits acid is not for everyone, but talk to their fans. They are surprisingly candid about their fondness for the drug's mind-freeing effects. You'll see people doing weird things, and they're not even doing it. They're just like hallucinating. And sometimes um, your trips aren't like really good. See, I had like a bad, bad trip. I was like crying. I did not know where I was. These frightening revelations are even more terrifying, coming as they do from 14 and 15 year olds. But what's scarier still is that LSD has become the experimental drug of choice, eclipsing alcohol and marijuana. <laughs> yeah, I, I drink it with milk. Today's LSD is called blotter acid. It's no bigger than a postage stamp and it takes the form of popular cult figures like Beavis and Butthead and even Bart Simpson. And at just three bucks a hit, it's cheaper than a box of popcorn at the movies. Blotter acid is uh, any piece of paper, any color, any, you know, any shape, form, size of paper. And there's a design drawn on it. Kids will take the acid and put it under their tongue. And 15 minutes later, they're bouncing around a little bit and seeing things. Sounds nice. <laughs>
mess with the eggs and we talk shit. Will, what is your job here? Get drunk, drink beer. I find girls for guys. We, we have the But I usually find out, to find the best ones and take them for myself because even though they are my friends, hey, it's a dog eat dog world, you know? <laughs> <laughs> woof, woof. I'll be a dog for you, you hot hunk of rock and roll man love. Rrr, I chihuahua. Women are like an alcohol regulator. If they're, if they're not very good looking, then you just, you know, okay, well, I'll have to drink more tonight, you know? And if they're really good looking, then you don't have to drink very much at all. Have you guys made enough money off your records to pay for all of this? Uh, not really. Well, I bought a couple packs of guitar strings, that's about it. What is punk rock to you? No money. You invest your money real well in the in the states if you front your money to heroin pushers in the lower elementary school levels. Yeah. Turn the playgrounds into pharmacies. Yeah, turn the playgrounds into pharmacies and really build capital, and that's how we really established ourselves as a band. Is that how Hurst made all of his money? That's how Bomber bought his drum set. <laughs>
check this out, dude.
question I want to ask you. Many bands now, they sound like um, they have the same sound as you, and they they make millions of dollars. How you feel about this? How the, the original rich kids and these people is uh, are making uh, uh, your thoughts on? Yeah. Well, they can try to sound like us, but they can't look like us. <laughs> <laughs>
Prius. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. You don't take American money, do you? No American money, huh? See, when you flush, you actually go up the American money, huh? How's that actually? Uh, uh, take out, take out. Uh, so it's cool. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to steal like this, take a shit, and then make up. Good kids, good kids. Hey, Tom, Tom. Yeah, Tom, Tom. Tom. One more, hurry up. Godzilla's penis is very big. Yes, <laughs> very big. And you want it. Let's go home, man. Let's go home. sometimes like last year why is this uh, we had to go home and do drugs all of you have to do this no. <laughs> why can't you ever finish a tour um, I'm in RKL this is the official RKL rapper room tour I've got a lot to say about Barbara now that now that he is in the other car I can talk about as much shit about him is possible. I mean, all of us can. Uh, too bad you can't see his ugly face. There he is. There he is right there. Get a good, get a good glimpse of him, huh? Get a good look at those ears. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we enslaved him. He's such a good drummer. Is he's he has lots of strength from um, bashing fags. Yeah, he's a notorious fag basher. What are the best and worst moments in your life? The best moment of my life was when I got into RKL. The worst moment in my life was when I remained in RKL. Rejection, no more from the misconception Just a bullet in my head and in my 
you get when a truck's so deep and trust me, your friends has been broken and you know you got played. It's that feeling and you stay up to be dead! Be dead! Killed on LSD. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see. Drum machine, man. I don't know, man. Call that at home, G. Uh, hey, what? Bugwee's got a drum set. She used to fuck it up at West Beverly High. Can't play. Yo, fuck it up, bug. Hey, yo, Bugwee. Wrong drum beat. Fuck it up, bug. Yo, I'm a stupid motherfucker. A world's went petty punk ass sucker. I'm not a car. I'm here to tell you how worthless I are. I'm just a wimp, see, I'm not.
not even bold My next turn to green because I'm a gold I'm such a wimp that I can't even fight I get drunk on the one course light Forty-three dollars of the money I've made I was too fucking stupid, couldn't pass a third grade I'm such a wimp that you probably crack up I'm stuck on shit and I don't got any backup Yo, I'm a stupid motherfucker I'm a stupid fuck this fucking crap Eat shit, you fucking dick Right there. Uh, James, explain this matter of dress. <laughs> well, this matter of dress goes way back into the 18th century. You know, back to when, like, back to when, like, men used to be wanted to be ladies and stuff like that. You know, and this is Independence Day. It's the Fourth of July. You know, this is Independence. You know, so I feel that I can feel independent. You know, and for what our country stands for. You know, and what I like to be. You know, I'm not a gay man or nothing. I've never stuck cock or been fucked in the butt. Well, no, but I not. do enjoy fucking a good woman dressing me up in her clothing. I'll tell you, huh? Excuse me. So, uh, what is mine? I guess that's about it, huh? Am I not hanging out of here? No, no, I think you're not so funny. I didn't have coke last night, though. My bulge is really small, though. So. Chris, I heard you were conceived on an ass love. And is there any truth in this? As we see it from a typical psychiatric ward, LSD is certainly much more than a mere fad. Right now we have over a dozen people hospitalized because of acute symptoms resulting directly from their taking LSD. Hey dude, what's up? Yeah, dude, all right! Bizarre fatal accidents and suicides have also occurred in LSD's users. Some people who are unstable, it seems like, to begin with. They don't need it. Uh, sometimes those are the type of people that I think freak out on it. And the bad trip? Instant insanity. Often a never-never land of no return. Yeah, we have a friend, Pink, he, uh, after he did spend one night with us, partying with us, he shaved off his eyebrows and went, was seen walking down the freeway naked saying he was on his way to Long Beach to meet Jesus. We have produced convulsions and death in animals 
with large doses of LSD. Many wild and very unscientific claims have been made about LSD. I heard that you ripped a whole half sheet or something. Uh, wait, wait till it works out. Hold on. I don't know. You know, I mean, that, yeah, I got really high. But uh, I guess some guy just said, oh, you're in rich kids on LSD, man. Can you take a lot of acid? You know, I was really drunk at the time, so. Sure. You know, he, had <laughs> he had a sheet, so, I, you know, I said, let's split it. You know, he never is really quite the same, and I just sort of passed out eight hours later woke up fine. You know? Come on, you had to have been way too high for a week. No, I mean I was high for about eight hours. You know, I drank a lot of beer so I you know, that passed that you out. can't OD on LSD. You know, some people I mean he is really not the same, so you know, I mean it may have tweaked him in a separate way, but you know, my body was built for drugs, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Tweak some people can eat a quarter hit and they'll be ruined for life. Other people like Jason can eat 50 hits and he's fine after eight hours. Many lose all contact with reality. For instance, some forget what height means. And in a turned on or euphoric state, step or attempt to fly from cliffs and high windows with real life, permanent, non-psychedelic results. Other trippers attempt to merge their beings with large, fast automobiles. Like, almost, almost all of just a little bit weird, and a lot of them are a lot weird. LSD stimulates creativity in the brain. See my Roy? <laughs> yeah, we got that brown eye there. I got a little fucking brown eye there. Touch the exhibitions. <laughs> 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 What is that? Are you zit or what? Wait, what is it? Look here, come here. That's hot! Awesome. Yeah! <laughs> Nevertheless, parents deprived of LSD did not understand. My parents love her, man. My parents are more hip than me. They listen to everything. On acid? On acid. LSD, as far as we now know, may be put in the category of the type of compound or chemical that causes these types of damage. Drugs are for certain people. I mean, I, I don't think everyone should take drugs constantly, or it's up to your own, it's up to your own choice, you know, what you take and how, how you do it. <laughs>
the sinful ways of music leads to a life of sex and drugs. I'm going to show you how to supernaturally, by my power, draw out of heaven evil rock and roll demons and bring them to life. Japanese punk shows. No camera! Instead of uh, going out and beating up mailboxes, they can come to an RKL show or something. Beat up people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you call an ambulance or something, man? This guy's fucked up. <laughs>